He's good. <gasps> Perry Farrell, but I'm now seeing Harry Perry. Yeah. I wasn't ready for his natural speaking voice, right? Because when you hear him singing, when that's all that I had heard for you decades, kind of have a little bit of that. Maybe there's a little bit. Where we're yes, both. there is. <laughs> <laughs> but he sounds like he's from another planet. Oh yeah. We are in Mados, coming from <laughs> another planet. <laughs> it's very like there's some Broadway in there, yeah, and there's also no some Broadway. like. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, that's part of my, that's part of my, my pre-show ritual. I gotta drop a nervous diarrhea deuce. Well, I gotta find some place to do it then if I can't do it here. I actually know a place. <laughs> it's right this way. I just feel like everyone knows what I'm doing. Everyone knows Jack Black is going to take a shit. It's embarrassing. A few inches later. Just hold him up for another 10 minutes, then we'll be good to go. Perfect. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right Lollapaloo. Oh, right. Check. When it's your first time on tour with the band and you're on the bus with them, what do you do? You buy them three pizzas. Wins every time. Two, one, lift off. Stop. I couldn't stop. I couldn't battle. stop. And I was like, he help someone stop. else he eat pizza. And but like, John Spiker was no help. He was like, nibble, 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 one slice. <laughs> I'm not even going to eat the crust. I'll throw away the crust. For this guy, and then John Kaneski, please, vegan. Nibble, 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 nibble. We call, we call John the innate. So I had a whole fucking pie to myself. And I ate the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was good, good though. It was, good it was delicious. I'll give you that. Yeah. I now I feel like I have to fast. Thank Reaffirming, once again, it is impossible to eat sensibly. What's up? Now what, what happens in here? So this is when we're doing live recording. What? So we're behind the stage right now. Stage is on the other side So what we do is direct to disc live band recording. This is a 1955 Scully Lays mm. that came out of King Records in Cincinnati. Big fan of the Scully. Yeah, Big it's, I mean, it's it's the Cadillac. Scully Lays, sure. Um, yes. But yes. King Records, you know, James Brown, Little Willie John, Hank Bowden, Midnighters, mm. um, all the great. Ariana Grande? 
It might have been some Mariana <laughs> later era. But we've done with this. We've done the Shins, the Kills, C6 Steve, Melvin's, Mud Honey, Jack Johnson, Ashton, Yoro, Shabazz Palaces. We did Pearl Jam. We did U2 recorded this way. Um, Jack White set up a record store date 2014. We set up on stage, recorded two songs, ran them down the street to the pressing plant, had them electroplated, had the labels printed, manufactured the records, got them back here. And so from the time Masters left the building, and the time we had records for sale in the storefront was three and a half hours. So did you guys party in that like window? Yeah. That three and a half hours was just like partying and then as people were leaving, party favors. The record. I, a, li Pressed. a little, a little bit like a party. Hot. I was, well, that's the fastest anyone's ever made a record. You talk about records, you yeah. talk about like grooves on a disc. This is the fastest someone's ever done one. Well, I like Pro Tools and Redos. <laughs> that's my jam. <laughs> This was uh, on American Pickers. I traded these guys a photo booth for the elephant head of the show, American Pickers. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal for them. I think they got a photo booth out of yeah, it. Yeah, they got a photo booth out of it. You got a cool elephant head, though. Over the decades, I always get a guitar, and then Kyle's always a, hey, let me try your guitar, and then it's his guitar, and then I go out and I get a better guitar, and it's like, I, I didn't realize, but they're actually not very yeah, nice guys. They're actually really mean. American Gothic style. Well, my instinct is go extra intensity out of the gate. Please do. Mother, may I? Someone gave me this in the white stripes and I never got to use it. Ooh, damn. That's a fun one. Listen to that voice. Uh-oh, Cage is getting in. He can't stand it. He can't take it anymore. He's coming in. He's coming in. Ah! I like uh, I like shopping for guitars. We're talking if, old comics. Motherfucker, please. Yeah. <laughs> if you put the camera down, I'll take all of you. Oh shit! Please. Put that shit down. This is uh, Jules Verne's grandson. Oh. And of course, and then of course we had uh, 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 Bobby Castro, Fidel Castro's little oh brother, did a solo show here. Weird. Yeah, and then the Pope, not the current Pope, but the last Pope, oh. did a spoken word here. It was in Latin. And then we have, um, well, all the Led Zeppelins, all of their uh, moms did a show together. Oh. The, the four Led Zeppelin numbers' moms. They gotta be getting up there. Yeah, I think one of them was like 105. What'd she play? What instrument? You know, I didn't, I, I was busy. I think it's a question. I didn't show up for that. Five seconds of silence. <laughs> Slip that ride and just cut it right before the lap. The Led Zeppelin moms. <laughs> You're thinking about being my baby. It don't matter if Jack Black or white. So, um, Jack White just gave us the tour of the Third Man headquarters. It's an amazing facility. It's kind of a museum. It's a recording studio. It's an art house gallery. And now we're heading over to Jack White's house to record a single. And me and Cage uh, have been working on a jam. It's not quite done. <laughs> Needs a little work. But I think that's where Jack White's gonna come mm -hmm. in and help mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. pull it over the finish line. That's oh, what we're yeah. hoping anyways. Yep, yep. This is a legendary collab. The D with Jack White. Everyone's been waiting for it. You know now why? it's here. Because I'm black, I'm white, you know it. And the whole world has to answer right now just to tell me once again who's bad. I think that was a mixture of two different oh. Michael Jackson jams. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to wait at the top. 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 I'm going to wait Okay, so we just finished recording uh, a new song at Jack White's home studio. I wish you could have been filming because it was magical. Me and Cage kicked out the jams in record time. That was a really fast recording session. I just can't wait for it to, to, to come hot off the press. And dude, his house is crazy. I've never seen so many cool antiqued toys and like little movieolas and furniture. I mean, it's what you would expect. Jack White's house is gonna be off the chain. I'm still floating, floating on cloud nine. I think our song is uh, the kick and chicken too. That is a jam, it's a stone cold jam. They're twisting the dials. It's old school recording. We didn't do like a, was it, was, it wasn't Pro Tools, was it? No, you had 16 tracks of tape. Tape, oh, 16 still. tracks. 16 track. 16 track. But thick tape. Oh no, they were just doing 8 track. Yeah. 8 track. Because yeah, we almost ran out of track. They were doing 8 track. Yeah. So, so basically, we were like the Beatles. We were like the Beatles. We had to nail it. And it wasn't like, can I do another take? It was like, uh, no. You have to, do you want to tape over the last take? You know what I mean? It was that kind of thing. And now we're driving to the venue here in Nashville. We got to rock a major show. There's going to be like 6,000 people in the audience. And it was great. I miscalculated my laundry situation and I ran out of clean underpants. So I'm gonna make a quick run to Target, grab me some double XL Calvin Klein box of briefs. Keep them in tight. Should I get this for PewDiePie? Mission accomplished. Bye. See you later. We're gonna start with the hair. Oh, you start with it. Well, now we are, because because it wasn't working. Okay. That's how we start. What? No, that's the beard. Yeah. And it looks kind of like a big fat Y. Okay. Yeah. Now, here, you got a smile. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got an eye and an eye and a high and a high, yeah. and then you just got a dome. Oh my god. That's not good. That's not it. But here's the yeah, No, that ain't it, because that doesn't look that that doesn't look like your ring of fire. That that's looks like it looks like I'm the oxygen. I messed up. The... That looks like a little baby. What is that? <laughs> that is so messed up. It's classy. That's the thing about chandelier, It's classy. 
Tenacious D time, you motherfucker go. This is no time for being shy. <laughs> I gotta work on my Jack White impression impersonation. <laughs> too hard, got a sprained ankle. And uh, I think I know when it happened. I think it happened uh, during the part where he rocked too hard. You saw it. <laughs> he was rocking so fucking hard. Snapped his Achilles. You know, he's gonna be okay. We got top surgeon on the case right now. Oh top tier surgeon, he travels with us. Cause uh, <laughs> when you rock as hard as me and Cage, you need a surgeon there to cut you up sometimes. A surgeon? By the way. I'm the surgeon. Scalpel. What? Scalpel. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. No. Jameson. No, but J Lo. It's all right, kid. <laughs> Why me? Why? Why?